What's going on, guys? Stefan here at s &E's Garage. We got Stefan behind the wheel, and we got our E, Emily, right here. Say hello, Emily. On our way to Tom's River, because we're going for a ride in my 2005 Avalon. And uh, we're driving along, and all of a sudden the car starts bucking a little bit. I'm like, hmm, that was weird. And then we were blessed with these malfunction indicator lights. So uh, let's let's limp this bad boy home. Let's scan it for codes. And uh, we're going to be digging in on a, a little 2G RFE 3.5 liter Toyota action. Get this thing back into uh, tip top shape. What do you say, Em? Let's do it. All right. What's going on, guys? Stefan again at SNE's Garage. We're back in the Avalon. Uh, as you saw in the last little clip, uh, we had a little check engine light mishap driving down the road. We got mommy back here changing little Maverick. And uh, I whipped out the scan tool because, you know what, why not? And uh, we've got some codes. We have a P0355. Now, with this scanner, this is the Innova 5110. There is an app that you can download that is called, and I will tell you right now, Repair Solutions 2. So if you go to that app, your phone will connect to your, your scanner via Bluetooth. And um, you could basically click on the engine, for example, and it's telling me the P0355 is a ignition coil E primary secondary circuit. Um, so it's looking like I'm going to have a problem with number 5 ignition coil. Now the problem with the number 5 ignition coil is that it's on the back side of the engine underneath the intake manifold. It's going to be the driver side rear uh, most cylinder. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to access that without um, removing the intake manifold. And if that's the case, I'm going to do spark plugs while I'm in there, even though the car has only got 33,000 miles on it. It's just you do it while you're under there. Um, but what I might try is pulling the throttle body and, and trying to more or less snake it out of there. So we'll give that a shot. We'll get that on video. I've already gone ahead and ordered a Denso replacement ignition coil. Uh, Denso is original equipment. Um, I got that off of Rock Auto for right, right around 50 bucks. Advanced Auto wanted $100 for the standard automotive, which is non original equipment and uh, I'm big on original equipment parts so um, I'll update once we get the coil in uh, it's gonna be a second for you because as soon as I restart the video I'll have the coil in my hand but uh, we'll take it from there so thanks for watching and we'll be back with you in a couple of moments so we made it home we got a bunch more codes though the car started running even worse P0301, P0300, 302, 303, 304, 305, 306, and we still have the same 355. This car got pretty pissed off, so let's replace that coil when it gets here and uh, take it from there. What's going on, guys? We're back here with our 05 Avalon. And I don't have my parts yet. I went ahead and I ordered three ignition coils for the rear bank. And I ordered six spark plugs. They're not due yet. Uh, actually, they're, they're not due by far. Uh, these aren't due till around 120,000 miles for their first spark plug change. This only has 33 on it. But it is an 05. So it's 15, 16 years old and it's still got the original spark plugs. And if I'm going to be doing all of this work um, to get this manifold off, doesn't make sense to not do them and it also doesn't make sense to not do all three rear uh, coils because I don't want to pull this thing off again and have to worry about it so um, we're gonna disconnect the negative battery terminal we're gonna get the engine cover off we're gonna pull my uh, my sporty little intake off and uh, we're gonna get started now as many modern cars are this throttle body does have coolant lines running through it um, do they do that to keep the throttle from freezing up when it's cold? They want it to be, you know, warm. So, uh, we're going to unbolt the throttle body from the uh, rest of the manifold and leave that in the car off to the side so we don't have to drain our cooling system because we don't want to do that. So, um, yeah, let's get started. All right, we got our intake tube off. 
we got our throttle body unbolted. You can see the two coolant lines that are connected to it right here. Uh, that, like I said, you want to avoid draining at all costs. Um, so we're just going to, you know, go around this intake. We're going to unplug all the vacuum lines and little connectors that lead to it. And I'm pretty sure there's some bracketry on the back of it that we're going to have to somehow get to. I'm not sure if I have to pull the wiper cowl or not. I'm going to try to avoid that. But let's get these uh, vacuum hoses off and see if we can make any headway getting this intake off. Little mechanics tip. Tape over any openings that lead into the engine while you're working on the car so you don't drop things down into it. Um, we got all of our bolts and or nuts that hold the plenum on off. Now I'm, I'm feeling back there for the brackets that are bolted onto the plenum to get them off. So once I get them off, we'll get that on video. I'll show you exactly where they are so you don't have to go searching for them like I am. There's our plenum. We got our plenum off. Here is our lower intake manifold. You get a look down there, see the runners, see the valves. Uh, there's my rear bank. That coil right there is my bad one. It's going to be cylinder number five. So what we're going to do, we're going to replace all three of them. And um, we're going to do the spark plugs while we're at it. So I'm probably going to have to loosen that harness, get that out of the way, and uh, take it from there. Now, you have two brackets that bolt the, the plenum up to the car. You got one right there, and then the other one's over here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it bolts the manifold itself to the valve cover. So here's the bolt hole there. So it's got to be in this area somewhere over here. It's actually it's probably right there. So yeah, we got it off. Now we're just going to let her sit. We're going to wait till my parts come later on this week. We're going to fix her up. So I took it one step further and I undid my harness back here at the back of the engine and I pulled my back three coils out. So like I said, I'm replacing all three of them. Here was my bad one right here, number five. So if you look at these engines, bank one is in the back, bank two is in the front. So it goes cylinder one, two, three, four, five, and six. So number five is where my code was. So I'm replacing that whole rear bank just so I don't have to pull it apart again. And then if any of the front ones ever go, I have two spares that were in the back. So, like I said, just waiting on parts and uh, we'll get it running. And I will see you in a couple of days.